Even if the sun drops out of the sky, even if the stars come shining at night, even if the drums come keeping the time, if your hands are in line, I won't stop dancing, dancing on the mountain of a victory, dancing on the valley of a broken dream, dancing on the lanes of the in between. If it's you and me, I won't stop dancing. Sociologically, it just makes sense. Society prospers when families are together and whole. And anthropologically, you talked about doing a lot of stuff with your hands on the video, so. Uh, <laughs> anthropologically, it is God's idea for procreation, that love making not only produce two beautiful kids, but it's also for your enjoyment. So it makes sense sexually and biologically and anthropologically. Marriage is just a, a, a good thing. I, I know you guys have some things to say to each other, but I just want to ask you a couple of questions to make sure we're still on the same page. Do you, Pastor Lab, still take Lisa to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to honor, to respect and cherish, and to keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live, if you still do, say, I still do. I still do. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Do you, Pastor Lisa, take Pastor Lab to be your lawfully wedded husband, to honor, to cherish, and to love, and to keep yourself only unto him, as long as you both shall live, if you still do, say, I still do. I still do. <laughs> 
I believe there is a moment for communion, and uh, please feel free to unite in that now. To those who may be unbelievers, the purpose of communion at a wedding is not so much just for them, but it really is a moment of evangelism for some co-worker, some cousin, who may not know Jesus. And it says to the people present that without the blood of Jesus, our marriage can't sustain. That the blood of Jesus is what's keeping our marriage. And so as they drink up the cup and take up the bread, they are affirming that Christ is at the head of this union. That is the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that is the precious shed blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If there's one person here who's unsaved or unchurched, even at this wedding, these two wonderful pastors offer Christ to you now. Thank you for that. I love that. Okay, okay, so Matthew 19. 